Joe Biden handily beat Donald Trump in the 2020 election, so Trump had to say goodbye to Air Force One. However, the former president still has a private jet of his own, a $100 million Boeing 757. At least, that's what it used to be worth. The once glorious private jet has high-grade leather seats, rare mahogany cabinets, and even a bathroom sink made of 24 karat gold. There's just one problem. Trump's jet is in serious disrepair and lying idle on an airport ramp in Orange County, New York. Even though the plane is exposed to the elements and rusting in the rain, it's still worth millions of dollars. The parts alone are worth a small fortune. Let's take a look at Trump's gold-plated private jet. Trump's Boeing 757 is absolutely massive, fitting for a guy with such a big personality. It's 47 meters long and has a 38 meter wingspan. That means it's about three times larger than most private jets. Trump has appropriately dubbed his flying luxury palace Trump Force One, but he actually didn't use the jet at all while he was in office. Presidents can only fly on Air Force One. Trump Force One is one of the largest privately owned corporate jets in the world, and it's quite obvious that it's owned by the Donald. Trump has his name plastered on the side of the jet just in case there is any confusion as to who owns the Flying Fortress. Would you expect anything less from a man who's obsessed with putting his name on everything? Trump's 757 is configured for 43 passengers, which is significantly less than the 239 passenger capacity of a commercial 757. 18 of the seats on the jet are executive class. Trump completely modified his 757 and turned it into a spacious flying mansion. Trump Force One has plenty of legroom, unlike a commercial 757. Trump Force One isn't just luxurious, it's powerful too. It's equipped with two Rolls-Royce RB211 turbofan engines. Each engine provides 40,000 pounds of thrust. That means the jet can reach 41,000 feet in just 12 minutes. The interior of Trump Force One is decorated in Trump's signature style. It has customized cream-colored leather seats, rare mahogany cabinets, ultra-suede ceiling panels, and plenty of 24-karat gold. Oh, so much gold. Trump must love gold more than gold member. The light sockets are gold. There's decorative gold trim throughout the cabin, and even the seat buckles are gold. Even the bathroom is filled with gold. The sink is gold-plated, as are the faucets. If you were to melt down all the gold found in Trump Force One, it would be enough to cover the outside of a Greyhound bus. Trump was heavily involved in the design process of the jet's interior. He contacted an interior design company that specializes in private jet modification even before he bought the 757 from Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen. It took six months to renovate the 757 into a gold-plated marvel, and Trump insisted that gold leaf cover anything metal in the plane's interior. The entire process set Trump back about $250,000. We all know how much Trump loves to watch TV, so it's no surprise that Trump Force One is equipped with a state-of-the-art screening room. It's about the size of a typical home theater and comes complete with a 57-inch TV. The plane has two bedrooms, both of which have ultra-luxurious bedspreads with high thread counts. The pillows are adorned with the Trump crest, something you'll notice throughout the interior. The Trump logo is emblazoned on every surface, including the headrests of the opulent leather seats. The plane even has a small gourmet kitchen where food can be prepared and reheated. The kitchen sink also has a gold faucet. Would you expect anything less? When Trump used his 757 on a regular basis, he employed an entire crew to operate the jet. The pilots, flight attendants, and kitchen staff were all at Trump's beck and call. Trump's skilled executive chef often prepared five-star meals before flights. Of course, Trump doesn't always eat like a king. We all know how fond he is of fast food. Trump also enjoyed chomping down on Big Macs and buckets of the Colonel's finest while aboard his 757. Trump Force One was spectacular in its heyday, but things aren't so rosy for the jumbo jet today. Trump hasn't flown his 757 since before he was inaugurated, and he's still not using the plane now that he's left office. It's currently sitting on a runway in need of major repairs. We're not just talking about a tune-up. It will likely cost millions just to make the plane operational again. 
One of the Rolls-Royce engines is missing a few parts, while the other isn't even on the plane. It's in need of serious repairs and sitting in storage shrink-wrapped in plastic. Fixing the broken engine could cost as much as $100,000, and some believe the total repair bill could be as high as $6 million. Trump hopes to fly high in Trump Force One again someday. He recently revealed that plans are underway to not only repair the jet, but give it a complete makeover. You might see Trump Force One grace the skies once again in the very near future. Trump expects the jet to be back in service and fully operational by the end of the year. The job won't be easy because leaving the plane exposed to the elements for so long certainly wasn't a good idea. Private jets like Trump 757 usually aren't left in the open in cold climates. Most are sent to warmer areas like Arizona or Nevada when hangar space isn't available. Until Trump 757 is fully operational once more, he will have to keep using his $10 million 1997 Cessna 750 Citation X. It might not be as luxurious or powerful as the 757, but it's no slouch. When the Cessna 750 Citation X was first released, it was the fastest business jet in the world. The 750 Citation X can reach speeds of Mach 0.92. That's just under the speed of sound. It's still quite popular today. Many millionaire CEOs and celebrities use the super mid-sized jet on a regular basis. It's just not something you see billionaires fly around in very often. Gulfstreams and Learjets are simply more popular with people who are worth billions. Like the 757, the Cessna 750 Citation X has two Rolls-Royce engines. Each engine provides more than 6,000 pounds of thrust. The Citation X was quite groundbreaking when it was first released, as it was the first aircraft from Cessna to use Rolls-Royce engines and fully integrated avionics. Trump's Cessna 750 Citation X isn't as flashy as his 757. He hasn't plastered his name across this one, but it's still obvious that it's Trump's jet. Near the cockpit, you'll find Trump's signature gold crest. Trump still gets to travel comfortably when heading to rallies, as his Cessna 750 Citation X can hold up to nine passengers and has a top-of-the-line interior. However, you won't find any gold trim inside this jet. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that Donald Trump is selling one of his helicopters? His 1990 Sikorsky S-76B is expected to sell for between $1 million and $1.5 million. It's quite obvious that this is Trump's chopper because the interior has cream white leather seats, gold fittings, and opulent mahogany furnishings. Trump actually sold another of his Sikorsky helicopters last year for an undisclosed price. He used to have three choppers, but will soon only have one. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to this channel for more great videos.